Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is Friday of the sixth week of Easter. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us into a kingdom of priests for our God. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, in a special way, we pray for all people whose struggle have, had led them to a feeling of being depressed. We need, poor, we need the grace of strength and perhaps we ask the Lord for the gift of consolation in this moment of pandemic. Mahirap naman yung hindi ka namatay sa COVID, na-depress ka naman. So, we pray in a special way. Those who are, those patients and those who are sick we we pray for them we pray for all the doctors we pray for all health workers frontliners we continue to pray for those <clears throat> who are celebrating their birthday and wedding anniversary today and for the repose of the souls of their dearly departed and so to prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Hear our prayers, O Lord, so that what was promised by the sanctifying power of your word may everywhere be accomplished through the working of the gospel and that all your adopted children may attain what the testimony of truth has foretold through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, when Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half, and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews, if it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. 
But since it is a question or arguments over the doctrine and titles of your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallia. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Sancria, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is King of all the earth. God is King of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chose us for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is King of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid trumpet blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I will weep. You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice. And no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One time, one of my students asked me about the subject I was teaching. And bluntly I said, I don't teach subjects. I teach attitude. I don't teach subject. I teach attitude. One of my professors taught me that you don't deprive your students of struggling in finding the truth. Never deprive them of struggling so that they will be able to find the truth. And that is the principle of philosophy. Philosophy is not getting the answer. Philosophy is learning how to find 
the answer. Philosophizing, hindi yung naintindihan natin tayo na may milosopo, kundi yung ikaw ay natutong maghanap kung ano ang sagot, ano ang tamang sagot, at paano mo yan nahanapin. Yesterday, some people were asking about something. I did not bluntly give them the answer. I made them struggle on what is the answer. Ano po? But not all people are really trained for that. Anyway, what is the gospel in the readings trying to tell us? A woman is in labor. She is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy. First, First, men can only talk about this. Only a mother can really explain and perhaps they are the only one who have experienced it. Yung mga lalaki, pwede magkwentuhan tungkol sa mga panganganak, pero tanging nanay lang talaga nakakaintindi kung ano ang pakiramdam ng nanganganak. Hindi po ba? Perhaps Jesus was able to talk about this because He knows everything. But the, the pain, the struggle of giving birth, sabi nga, the labor pains, you know, one of the most, I would say, traumatic, scandalous, name it. It took some time for me to talk about this because talagang na-scandalo ako. Ano yun? Nung ako'y tinawag at mag-anoint ako sa isang paanakan. Ano pa? Inimbitahan ako. Kasi yung isang nanay ay nag struggle sa kanyang pag-iri. Ano ba tawag sa pag-iri? Anyway, anyway, ano pa? Sa labor, ano pa? Ako'y batang pari. Naku, pumasok ko sa kwartong ganyan na mga nakatiwang-wang yung mga babaeng hubad lahat. Ano po? Nakabuka ka. Ano po? Ako'y iskandalong iskandalo. Sabi ko, ano ba naman ito, Panginoon? Ano po? Ha? Ay, nandun ka na. Hindi po ba? Ano? Yung mga hindi mo dapat makita, nakita mo. Ganito pala ito. Ano po? Ha? Nakabuka ka lahat. Hindi po ba? Ano? Nagaantay. Anyway nag kang ganyan, hindi ka makapag-concentrate kasi parang anong ginagawa ko dito? Hindi po ba? No? Eh, naba, inanoint mo. Tapos ikalawa, habang nag ka, merong isang babaeng sigaw ng sigaw. Ano po? Siguro talagang nahihirapan. Ano po? Nahihirapan doon sa kanyang panganganak. At minumura niya lahat. Minumura niya ang kanyang asawa. Ano po? So, kilala ko asawa niya kasi sinisigaw niya at minumura niya. Ano po? So, pagkatapos ko pong i-anoint yung, yung isang may sakit, sabi ko doon sa nurse, sabi niya, sabi ko, nurse, kawawa naman yan. but ganyan yan? Ano po? Alam mo, sagot sa akin ng nurse, maniwala ka dyan, father, pampito na niya yan. Ano po? Ha? Pampito na. So, iniisip ko, walang mastery sa panganganak. Hindi po ba? Ano? Kanya-kanya sakit yan. Ha? But, those pain, regardless how painful, it is part of the struggle. This pandemic, everybody is experiencing a certain level of, of struggle. Some lead to depression, others lead to death. Kaya nga ang sabi ko doon sa isang programa sa Radio Veritas, unang-una huwag kang mamamatay. Kahit anong mangyari, huwag ka mamamatay. Kasi pag namatay ka, hindi ka nakasali sa kwentuhan pag nakaraos kami. Well, ikaw ang pagkukwentuhan namin. Ano pa? Kaya huwag ka mamamatay. Hindi po ba? Ikalawa, huwag kang magkakasakit. Mahalaga yun, huwag kang magkakasakit. Ikatlo, huwag kang magpapahawa. Kahit anong mangyari, gawin mo ang lahat ng bagay para hindi ka mahawa. Pang-apat, 
Huwag ka rin mga hahawa. Isipin mong ikaw ay may sakit at ikaw ay maingat at huwag gawin mo mga bagay para hindi ka makahawa sapagkat hindi mo alam kung ikaw ay asymptomatic. But regardless of, regardless, we are all in this time of pandemic. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, in the very beginning I have said this. In the very beginning I have said this. Number one, this is just a temporary moment. Second, second, for those who believe in crisis, we thrive and we do not simply survive. What, I, what, does, I, what does it mean when we thrive? Hopefully, this crisis will make us a better person. Hopefully. Sabi nga ng isang guru, if you deprive your children of struggling, they will grow as weak adults. If you deprive your children of struggle, they will grow as a weak adult. Learn to struggle. I always remember this from my father. You never make a permanent decision based on temporary feelings. You do not make permanent decisions based on temporary feelings. Kung ano man ang nararamdaman mo ngayon, temporary lang yan. You go beyond. You go beyond. Never run away from the struggle. It is not the struggle that matters. What really matters is what you will become after this. What you will become after this. Ang tanong palagi, anong mangyayari sa iyo? You know all this. Alam nyo lahat ito. If you deprive a caterpillar from the struggle, we will have no butterflies. If you deprive a caterpillar from the struggle and his own cocoon, then we will have no butterflies. Do not forget that. Ano sabi sa unang pagbasa? Hindi naman sinabi ng Diyos na hindi ka, sabi nga, makakadanas ng hirap. Hindi po ba? Hindi sinabi doon. Pero ang sabi lang niya, Ano sabi dito? No one will attack and harm you. Hindi sinasabi dito, you will not be attacked. But no one that will attack you will harm you. You will not be deprived of being attacked. But keep in mind, if you believe in God, no one will harm you. No one will harm you. As I have said many times, brothers and sisters, no one can make you unhappy without your permission. No one can make you miserable without your permission. So, it's good to remind ourselves on this, that in the very beginning, you decide. You decide. Ano sabi ko kahapon? In season and out of season, in feelings of good and bad, be who you are. Be who you are. Do not run away from pains and struggle. Make it part, sabi nga, the birthing pains of a better you. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work him in hands, and made it would become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water in wine, we may come to share the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of and hands of made. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gaze and wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and the Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence and I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Ask for strength. Ask for strength. Do not ask that you will be deprived from any struggle, but ask for strength. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti, with Saint Rita, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant you unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, our strength. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot in this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrocina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close. And life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers. I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion with the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. 
your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more with a firm love. I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We continue to pray the prayer for a new Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our Archdiocese time and again with good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you. Aware of your profound love for us, we ask you to bless us once again. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. Today we celebrate the memorial of Santa Rita di Cascia. Mas kilala siya na santo para sa mga imposible. Ano pa? The saint of the impossible. But her title, she is the patron of battered wives. She is the patron of battered wives. For 18 years, binubugbog siya ng kanyang asawa. Can you imagine? But because in season and out of season, she continued to believe in the God whom he loves, whom she loves, and who loves him. She was rewarded. Ano pa? Namatay ang asawa niya after 18 years. Hindi po niya pinatay. Ano pa? But it's good to, to remind this. If you are struggling in your marriage, you have a saint to call to. Do not complain. But work on your struggles on how you can be a better person. Or, it might be a way for you to become a saint. It might be a way for you to become a saint. Perhaps, in today's readings and reflections, you begin to understand more the saying, if you give a man a fish, he will live for a day. 
But if you will teach him how to fish, he will live for a lifetime. If you give them a fish, they will live for a day. But if you teach them how to fish, they will live for a lifetime. Parents, do not deprive your children of struggle or else they will grow up weak adults. If the caterpillar will be deprived of the struggle, we will not have butterflies. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, don't run away from struggles. As I've said yesterday, keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. Do not make permanent decisions based on temporary feelings. Do not make permanent decisions based on temporary feelings. All of these things are temporary. Be strong. Be strong. As the prayer said, that under your protective care, we may never lose what we have received. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious, advocate your eyes of mercy towards us. And after these, our exiles, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kaya natin ito.